Hello. Uh, I have here a quadcopter. It's a Hubson X4 uh, 501C. And I have two motors. Uh, actually, one motor that I have to replace in this. And how I knew that, you can see on another video, but it, it just didn't... Sp I, I had uh, a problem. It flew off in one direction. And uh, then I put it on the ground and took all but one propeller off each of the motors and found that the, one of them didn't have lift. Um, and that was this one. It, I wanted to test it. I'm going to hold it down. So we've got it calibrated and everything. So that's the one. Now, will it lift? Uh, Alright, this is the side. What I'm going to do is take this screw and that screw off and take these lamps off. They look like they have to come off first, so I'm going to do that now. It looks like they all have to come off. So this is my first attempt at this. And, uh, that is tighter than I expected, so I'm trying different. Yeah, that's a better screwdriver. That's better. Okay, starting them both. Make sure I can do that. Okay, so taking that screw off, taking that screw off. Okay. And it looks like the lamp comes off. I think they call this the lamp shade. Something's preventing it from coming all the way off. And I don't know. Oh, there's a wire. Okay, so... The wire seems to be attached to a board, and if you can see, see the wire, if I can see that. Okay, there's one screw, another screw. I, uh, I printed out the page as a manual, and it has a rather nice uh, form to it, very good. I, I think in analyzing it, the Screw numbers were off. It looks like if I take it out, that that more there will be a board that comes out. But this one looks like it can turn that screw. So that screw comes out. So now carefully see that the board will come out. It should. Gently just, oh, there it is. Gently just move the lampshade off. Okay, so that's the key to getting the lampshade off. Okay, I've gotten three of these, three of these off, and I'm going on the fourth one. So, there. That's it. The next step is to separate this top piece from this bottom piece. And there's screws here, 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 here. Uh, I don't know if I have to take out that one or not. Probably will. Here, here. But these, these eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, they're all, all the same size. I think there's four more on the perimeter. There are tiny ones here. And then we'll get into the motor. Here. I'll just start them. I can show myself taking them. Just want to make sure they all start. I'll go to all the places here, here, they're all. St These four on the perimeter are posing a very difficult time. And maybe it's because of the my size of my screwdriver is not perfect, but I'm having to kind of wiggle it in and press it in and then turn it by applying just the right amount of pressure. 
and being patient. And it's like my screwdriver's rubbing up against the plastic, but it is starting. Seems to be these others I've already gotten out. So as I'm prying, I found four more screws here, here, uh, and so forth here and here. So I'm gonna take these out too. So this Hubson in the front looks like a piece that I had to use this and kind of pry up. And that pops out. And I bet there's some screw there. I don't see a screw. I thought I was going to find a screw in there. Let me just uh, see if it'll pop. Just gently. It looks like it's just a little stubborn there, and I don't know why. There we go. Okay. Seems like it's close. Looks like it's caught. On a motor. There we go. There we go. And there's wiring. So it's off, but I gotta find the wires. So I was gonna try to disconnect this from the board, and then I realized, well, I really don't need to because all I could need to do is. Just kind of turn this to the side a little bit, and I can get to all the motors I need to. So I'm going to get a good look at these wires. Red on top, yellow to the side, white and red down there. Okay, so they're just placed in there just so. And there's a black wire too. Oh, that red and white wire... That doesn't have to do with the motor. So the motor has a black and a yellow and a red wire. And they're soldered in here. I have four screws that I've got to loosen. And they're, I imagine they're going to be tight. So I want to get this in a nice spot to be able to put pressure on this to start these screws. And that's one. That's two. They're not too terribly tight. That's three. And the fourth one. Okay, so they're all started. And I'm going to loosen these and then turn the video back on. Okay, so I got all four bolts out. This is my problem motor. 